Hey everybody, welcome back. As promised, I am joined by Steve Hartwick, who is running for State Senate in District 23, my neighborhood, North Salt Lake, Davis County. Steve, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we have a lot of fun things to talk about. You have served in the military, you work at Myriad Genetics, you are from Kansas City, Missouri, you've lived in Texas, you've been all over. Let's start at the beginning. Here we go, where'd you grow up? I was born and raised in Missouri, uh, specifically the Kansas City areas where I spent the majority of my childhood. Mm -hmm. Right before I started high school, family moved down to South Texas. That's actually where I went to high school. Mm -hmm. Joined the Air Force from South Texas as a, a spry 19 year old and was very fortunate to be able to see the world for free, uh, thanks to Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. I got to do tours of duty in Japan, Iceland, New Mexico, and then finally here in Utah and training missions as well in Okinawa, England, Ireland, Germany, Spain, Kuwait, wow. Qatar, and three tours of duty to Iraq as well. Wow. Um, thank you for your service, by the way, to our country. And as far as serving in Utah, um, was that your last place, obviously? Yes. Did you? Okay. Yes. I, I ended up coming here from New Mexico and fell in love with it immediately. Mm. Um, a big time outdoorsman, hunter, fisher, camping, hiking. Mm. And as soon as I came around the Wasatch Front, I fell in love with the state and I knew uh, immediately coming around that bend that I was not gonna be leaving the state of Utah. And that was 10 years ago and I do not regret my decision to stay at all. And mom and dad are still in Texas? Yes. Get yes. them up here to see you every once in a while? Oh yeah, I'm actually my mom was just up here this past summer. Oh, so. Okay, good. The mountains, they do kind of suck you in, right? They're yes. hard to leave. Yes. I know that well. Um, now, how did you get into working for Myriad in biology from there? I separated from the Air Force in mm -hmm. 2009 mm -hmm. and decided to utilize the GI Bill, take advantage of that, that benefit, and went to the University of Utah. I've always been fascinated by the life sciences and figured that was a great time to educate myself on the subject formally. Mm -hmm. And after graduation, I applied to Myriad Genetics and was fortunate enough to be offered a job. I've been there for about two years now. That is amazing. Like we were talking earlier a little bit about how most people don't get to use their degree and I, you're putting it to I use in a biology that. degree. You guys are doing great things up there. You are running on a platform of unity and I know in this country right now that is a huge concern. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you just have to turn on the news and see how, how divided this country is. And it's, it's a result of this old school mentality of us versus them. If you're not with our group, you're, you're the enemy, mm -hmm. and this villainization, this hostility between the parties. Some of the greatest things that have happened in American history, I could go back to the inception of the country, but more recently, you know, Eisenhower working across party lines to set the budget and, and plan and develop the highway system, LBJ and JFK working across party lines for the civil rights movement, Reagan working across party lines on welfare reform, I mean, the list goes on and on, and that stopped. Mm -hmm. The country is so divided. The best things that happen are when people work together and, you know, it doesn't mean you check your brain at the door. Mm -hmm. You can have your difference of opinions, but you work together and you push forward the progress for America because that's what's best for the people. It might not always be what's best for your political party, but people come first. We are Republicans and Democrats second. We are Americans first. I love that because it is always terrifying to me when I go in that box and I see that check mark at the top that is just like for one party mm -hmm. and it just lines up because I am very much a down the middle person. I believe that you should find out what the candidates stand for individually. You shouldn't just vote for a whole party because I think it's exactly as you said. It's the group, this group and this group together that make our country great and when you become an isolated all the way left or all the way right, that's when it doesn't work and that's Absolutely. all this arguing is not helping either. We need to work together to make some changes that um, we want to see happen. And speaking of change, I love your story about what you did as far as joining the race because you're a little late to the race and um, you know you were one of these people who were not liking what you were seeing mm -hmm. and you decided to do something about that. So tell me, tell me how that went down. Well, it was really frustration with the one party system in Utah that is stemmed from exactly what we were talking about, the, mm -hmm. the, straight, the straight ticket voting. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I got to a point where I couldn't even read the local news without being frustrated. And I realized that I could, I could embrace indifference and just hope that somebody else stepped up mm -hmm. or I could be that person who stepped up and, and tried my hardest, maybe, maybe not successful the first time, but tried my hardest to implement what I feel is going to be very positive change for the state of Utah. I love that and whole reason we wanted to do this uh, this section on our show and offer this segment up is to give local um, politicians an opportunity to speak to us and tell us your story and tell us about 
what you stand for and who you are so we get a chance to get to know you and to let people know too by the way if you're not happy with the way things are it is not that hard to jump in the race and get in there and do something and at this point obviously too late to run but definitely get in there and vote and know who your candidates are we have some problems up in davis county we've got some bad air uh, a lot of people blame the petroleum companies you've got some real specific ideas you want to tell me about that Yes, uh, I, I have a three-pronged approach, I guess, if you will, for the for the refineries. You know, the, the knee-jerk reaction. If you read the, the Salt Lake Tribune, the comment section, or any of the local papers, there's this knee-jerk reaction from some of the citizens in Utah who just say, "Get rid of the refineries." Well, mm -hmm. that's just not practical. No. There are people who who rely on those for their, their source of employment to provide for themselves and their families. So you can't just get rid of them. You know, so there are three different things we can do. The first is, is already in place. There are government regulations and OSHA standards already in place to help slow down and regulate mm -hmm. pollution. Uh, so we have to make sure that these refineries are being held accountable. Mm -hmm. That's the first step, very okay. easy. Okay. The second is as our knowledge and technology continues to improve, we can always strive to do better. Mm -hmm. We can always strive to burn cleaner. So mm -hmm. that, that would be the second, the second um, approach or second step. The third would be to lobby for clean renewable energy because not only are you going to boost the economy and provide jobs through research and development, not to mention you know the services of working for the companies, mm -hmm. but you also help clean the air along the Wasatch Front. There's so much development coming down the pipe. We were even just speaking about the whole solar energy thing and how many friends of mine are just even having solar panels put on their homes and how much money they're saving. And there's so much we could do in the form of clean air yes. and, and moving that forward. And I, I love your ideas, especially for our neighborhood. Talk a little bit about education because that is a subject near and dear to your heart as well. Yes, uh, Holding Hands with Education is the platform of scientific literacy, a big advocate of scientific literacy in our representatives. But to, to get back to education, Utah is currently dead last in the nation for funding per student in public yeah. education grades K through 12. Mm -hmm. And there are ways we can address this problem. I think the stereotype, people see a Democrat, they say, oh, they just want to raise taxes. I am a firm believer that if we examine the state budget and really look at where our, our funds are, are being spent, we can allocate funds more properly and address the problem of public education without raising taxes. Well, all extremely, extremely good ideas. Steve, thank you so much for coming on and talking with me today. Um, I love your message about if you don't like the way things are going, get out there and change it yourself. Steve is one guy who's doing it. Tell me a little bit about your plans for the future before we go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I have fallen in love with the political system in America. This has been an honor. It has been absolutely incredible to get out and meet people, to be involved, and win or lose in November, I, 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 cannot, I cannot sit on the sidelines anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna remain politically active. Um, I have every intention of, of remaining active in the community and, and trying, to, trying to make a difference, really trying to implement some positive change in the state of Utah. Well, very cool. Well, when you're in the White House, will you get Talk 365, <laughs> Trip and I and Rich into like one you of those bet. White House parties? Because they keep not <laughs> returning my calls, Steve. Well, I don't know why. I will hook you up. Oh, man. So I'll be able to say I got Steve on the text. I don't have Obama on the text <laughs> like Jay-Z, but I got you. So that would be cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, very. thank you so much. We will be following the campaign. We'll be following your story as well as everybody else's. And um, thank you for joining us. Rich and I will be right back right after this. I'm Steve Hartwick and I approve this message. Steve Hartwick is the best choice to represent the voters in State Senate District 23. During Steve's outstanding career in the Air Force, he developed a love for the state of Utah and its people. After a career of service, Steve has once again decided to serve. If you're lucky enough to live in Southern Davis County, please vote for Steve Hartwick, State Senate District 23.